and welcome to Critter Care with KT, the RVT. Today we're going to be talking about rabbits. So let's hop on into it. Rabbits, also known as bunnies, have super long, tall ears, a recognizable cotton tail, big, strong feet, eyes on the sides of their head, and teeth that actually don't stop growing. They love eating hay, they eat it all day long. Do you know what other barnyard animal is most like a rabbit? It's actually a horse. They both have tall ears, they both have eyes on the sides of their head, they both have teeth that don't stop growing, and they both eat hay. Both are mammals. Both love to run and play outside. Both eat hay. Both have teeth that don't stop growing. Both need grooming. Both need health checks by a vet. And both need you to take care of them every day. They both prey animals. This means that rabbits and horses need protection from predators, can easily be startled or scared, enjoy living in pairs or small groups, and will hide how they feel when they are sick. Weird fact about rabbits and horses is that rabbits and horses cannot vomit like you and I can. This means we have to make extra sure we can't let them eat things they're not supposed to. So today we're gonna to talk about rabbit diet, living space, handling, bonding, behavior, exercise, grooming, litter training, and vet visits. Let's hop into the diet. So what do rabbits eat? Hey, 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 hey all day. It's the most important thing for a rabbit. The second most important thing is gonna be the dark leafy greens. Lastly, rabbit pellets or fortified hay pellets are gonna help fill up our bunny's tummy. But how do I know how much to feed my rabbit? This is how I like to measure. Unlimited hay all day long, a head size of greens, and a tail end size of pellets. So depending on your size of rabbit, we're going to give them all the hay they want, as well as a handful head size amount of greens a day, and a small tail size amount of pellets a day, about a quarter to an eighth of a cup, depending on your sized bunny. Now there are some things that we don't want our rabbit eating. These can upset their tummy or can be toxic to rabbits. So this is a short list, but be sure to stick to the end to see the PDF where we have an even more detailed list. On the list today, we have rhubarb, cauliflower, avocado, iceberg lettuce, because that's just mainly water, silver beet, potatoes, bread, pasta, cookies, cereal, oatmeal, crackers, seeds of any kind, nuts, honey, honey sticks, yogurt drops, pet store treats, chocolate, peanut butter, any types of meat, and giant pieces of carrot. These are all a no-no. But everyone loves treats, so what can I treat my bunny with? Treats should only be fed in small amounts. Treats are candy to rabbits and they could eat them all day long. Too many treats makes everyone feel sick. Even your rabbit. Treats should fit in the size of your rabbit's hand. Think about how small your rabbit's hand is in comparison to your hand. 
Your hand is much bigger than your rabbit's hand. Treat ideas that you can feed your rabbit. Small chopped pieces, just the nibble size, remember. Fresh vegetables makes the best treats for bunnies. But bunnies also really like fruit. But remember to limit fruit to only a few times a week because of the sugar. We want to make sure we're not upsetting our bunnies' tummies. Next, let's talk about living space. So what does a bunny need in their living space? Fresh food fresh water, clean soft bedding, hopping space, toys and activities, a place to dig, clean litter and a bathroom, a den slash hiding place. Here are a few rabbit hutch slash home ideas. Depending on where you're going to be homing your rabbit, there are lots of different ways you can set them up. We want to make sure we're offering our rabbits lots of space to be able to hop around. And at several points during the day, we do want to take them out to exercise them. Let's talk about handling. But how do I hold a rabbit? We want to make sure we're holding them secure with one hand under their bum and one hand around their chest, holding them close to our body. These are a few ways how not to hold a rabbit. With these handling techniques, your rabbit is dangling and more likely to twist, kick out, and potentially injure themselves. Please do not handle a rabbit this way because it can hurt itself as well as you could hurt it while you're picking it up. Now, putting a rabbit on his back is something that you should never do. When a rabbit lays on its back, it tends to stay very, very still. This is because the rabbit is terrified or hypnotized into playing dead and his only reaction is to lay there and not move. Please never put your rabbit on its back. Bonding. Bonding with your rabbit. We want to remember to remove slowly around our rabbits because they are very timid animals and can scare easily. Never forget that we never want to force a rabbit to be petted or to force the rabbit onto our lap. We must work slowly offering treats to get to know the rabbit and then eventually have the rabbit eating from our hand. Once the rabbit is eating from our hand, we can then work up to get the rabbit from eating from our lap. Now work up to petting your rabbit while they are near you and become their friend. Rabbits have a great memory and a fight or a bad experience can make bonding very difficult in the future. Now bonding two rabbits together. Never place two rabbits that have never met unsupervised in an area. Rabbits are very territorial and become aggressive towards each other. You want to place two rabbits in separate pens beside each other, allowing them to see and smell one another to learn that neither is a threat. Try having them eat together. Then you can work up to feeding them from separate bowls and removing the divider if possible. Hopefully soon your bunnies will be eating from the same bowl and become best friends. Remember, rabbits have a great memory and any fight or bad experience can make bonding difficult in the future. So we wanna go slow at this. This can sometimes take up to weeks to a few months to get these rabbits completely comfortable to be living together. They should never be left unsupervised if there's any sign of aggression between the rabbits. Behavior. These are a few simple bunny behaviors that you may notice. Chewing. Rabbits love to chew. And if we don't want them to chew our furniture or to chew our electrical wires, then we're going to have to do something about that. 
So locking up the wires and offering chew toys, other things for our rabbit to chew, can help to drive this behavior away. Digging. Rabbits love to dig. Another behavior that you may not want your rabbit expressing. But if we offer them their own digging space, they may not dig in the unwanted places. Grooming. Rabbits will spend several hours a day grooming themselves or grooming their bonded friends. Stomping. When your rabbit wants something or becomes irritated or just is trying to be tough, sometimes they may stomp their back foot. Rabbit exercise. Running, jumping, leaping, and binkies, rabbits definitely love to run and play. Rabbits need a large exercise pen and a few hours of exercise each day to ensure the stretching of their back hind limbs. When your rabbit gets plenty of exercise, they is less likely to misbehave and act out. Rabbits can also be trained just like a dog can. With treats and a clicker, you can have them hopping through an agility course in no time. Grooming. Brushing and combing is important to remove loose, dead, old fur and is also great for bonding. Long-haired breeds will need more grooming than short-haired breeds. They may also need their bums cleaned or trimmed every once in a while to ensure there's no infections from urinary or fecal stains. Nail trimming. Nail trimming is something that can be done at home, but I do recommend being trained by someone who has been taught this before. This is something that you can definitely get a demo at your next veterinary health check. Bathing. Rabbits are typically very good at grooming themselves, but occasionally they may need a bath. Your rabbit may be afraid of water, so we want to make sure we're only putting them in a small amount. Never fill the tub and dunk your rabbit in. We want to ensure the rabbit nose stays above water at all times, and we want to try to avoid getting water into the rabbit's ears. Rabbits have very sensitive skin. Human shampoo and hand soap is not made for rabbits. Please ask your vet for a rabbit safe shampoo. Use warm water, never hot or never cold. And be ready, your rabbit may try to leap away. Keep one hand on your rabbit at all times while they're in the tub. Dry your rabbit off well before leaving them to dry. Litter training. Litter training is something that is possible as well. So like training dogs, rabbits can also be trained like cats. We want to start our bunny off in a small space to make sure that we give them ability to succeed. Bunnies like to go to the bathroom in the same area. If you see your bunny going to the bathroom, try herding them to the litter box. If your bunny misses the box, move the box to where they did go to the bathroom. Hopefully they will use the box next time they return to that same spot. Offer multiple litter boxes once you've expanded the space. Avoid using clay litter and wood shavings. Baby bunnies will need extra time to learn, so don't get frustrated and just keep trying. Vet visits. What to expect at the vet office. Your vet's gonna start by checking the heart and lungs and probably checking a weight on your bunny. Checking the nose, checking the teeth, making sure that everything looks good. But did you know that rabbits don't only have incisors, they also have molars too? A good rabbit veterinarian will have a scope and be able to see into the back of the mouth to check those molars. In some cases, the molars can grow sharp points and even point into the sides of the mouth or tongue. 
Ensuring that our rabbit has access to hay constantly can help grind down these points. Oat hay is the crunchiest of the hay that's on the market. Mixing it in with your rabbit's hay daily can help ensure good dental hygiene. Checking the ears. Rabbits have those big tall ears or big floppy ears depending on your breed. And unfortunately, sometimes we do find ear mites. That's okay, they're easy to treat and easy to prevent as well. With some multi-care or advantage, we can help prevent parasites throughout the summer months while our rabbit spends time outside. And back to nail trimming. At this time, don't forget to ask your vet for a nail trimming demo. Spend an extra 10 minutes learning how to trim your rabbit's nails safely and how to hold your rabbit without them falling. Checking poops. Your doctor is going to want to see some poops. Make sure that they're the proper size. They want to be about unified and nice and dry. This is not a poop. Do you know what this is? This is a cecotrope. Rabbits produce kind of like pre-poos, like a cow will regurgitate its food and re-chew it, swallow it again. A rabbit will eat cecotropes or pre-poos and then re-digest them to get extra nutrients that can be found in these cecotropes. A little disgusting, but required for bunnies. While you're at the vet, you can also talk about diet, what you're feeding for treats, what you're feeding for snacks, how much hay your rabbit eats, and what pellets you're offering. As your bunny ages, there may be some supplements that you may want to add to their diet, depending on if there's any issues that arise, if they have a skin condition, joint disease, urinary conditions. Unfortunately, there are many conditions that bunnies can get during their life but that's why the veterinarian is there to help you through those difficult times. Now, I just wanna take a moment and tell you to remember that bunnies can live almost seven to 12 years and they are an everyday commitment. Rabbits will hide how they feel when they are ill. If your rabbit stops eating or stops making poop, it is very important to call your vet. At this point, your rabbit may be feeling ill. Remember to check if your bunny is a boy or a girl. Keep boys away from girls or you will wake up with more bunnies than you had. Please ask your vet about spaying and neutering. And once again, just because I see it on the internet doesn't mean you should be doing it. Please never put your bunny on their back. This scares your rabbit and makes them feel like they need to play dead. What's your favorite rabbit breed? Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back next time when we talk about our next little critter. Please remember that there'll be a link below with a PDF with everything I've talked about, including even more information. If you have any questions, please post them below. I'll be sure to leave an answer. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up and visit Critter Cared by KT for even more information. Have a happy day and thanks for watching. Hopefully I see you next time for our next edition of Critter Care with KT, the RBT.